Hey guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. So, I didn't make all the progress that I thought I would make off camera because I came out to get materials and I found something pretty darn interesting that I figured I would show you guys. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a cave. <laughs> it's a whole freaking cave. It doesn't go too far, but there is something down here, and I found a new kind of ore. This is silver. Uh, I did mine some of it already. Uh, it has about the same durability or resistance, I guess you could say, as the other materials. It takes three or four licks to get it out of there. And I don't know, I didn't smelt any of it yet because I figured I would show you guys uh, what it was all about before I did that. And we found a book. There's an old musty notebook here, Zuljin flips to the last page. Praise be to the goddess, tis surely her blessing that I might find such a bounty of coal and copper in the depths of this dark dank cave. But however hard I strike it, whether with my cypress stick or oaken club, these materials refuse to be dislodged. Oh, that I had a stronger weapon to bring to bear. The things that I can make with such fine materials. I harbor no doubt that minerals like coal and copper are the key to mankind's advancement. Only if I had a hammer. The entry ends there. It looks like it was written a very long time ago. Huh. I don't know if I can actually take it. Yeah. First book. Alright, good. And I'm also going to grab this stuff. Not that I really need it, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get it. So that was a cave. It doesn't get too big, I don't guess, but uh, let's see here. Can we possibly strike that? Yep. Just like that. So I did a little bit of building in town as well. Let me zoom in here. Nice. And there is a lot of stuff up there too, but there's it's much easier to get it elsewhere. So let me see if I could get out of here and I'll show you some of the progress that I made uh, in town. I did redo a bunch of the buildings already and I have the sleeping quarters ready for Pippa. Um, the only thing that I don't have right now is a setup for the inn, but I figured, uh, well, the inn and the shop, but I figured I would, uh, I would kind of build that with you guys, uh, and we'll see what we can do. Um, the layouts that I've been using are relatively simple, uh, but it does look kind of fancy, so I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, let's get a little bit of this copper. I find that it's easiest to mine stuff like that on the edges where you can just kind of get to it and, and strike at it. Let me see if I can find some that's easy to access really quick before I go back. So there's a lot of coal right here. And if you just get into the mountainside, you can really, really get on it and and gather it relatively quick. And I, I don't, I didn't find that much silver, but I got enough. I mean, whatever we're going to be able to use it for is going to be pretty good, I suppose. Let's dig down here. And the day-night cycles are really, really quick, too. All right, this should be enough coal and copper once I finish this right here. I, I think I'm going to have plenty enough with these right here. All right. Was that? And no, that was regular dirt. Okay. And I didn't do too much exploring without you guys either because I realized that it's going to be really cool to find stuff together. I don't want to... I want my first initial reactions to everything new to be uh, really good as far as adventuring. Not necessarily materials, because I will find some of that when I'm just out mining. Hey, hey now, skeleton, we don't need all that mess. I'm trying, I'm trying to get materials here. Alright, that's quite a bit of coal. Let's get these couple more nodes of copper, and then I'm gonna get out of here. All right, very good. I should just be able to to get out pretty quickly. I'm thinking. Hold on. <laughs> it's a little bit harder to jump like that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, I'm out. And I did grab quite a bit of stone. Ooh, there's some more silver there too. Uh, it's kind of night right now. I'll tell you what. Let's, it's on this level. Let's just start digging. Let 
There was a couple of them. Yeah, I'm really glad I did that. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to leave that behind. Not that it's impossible to find or anything, but it's rare enough for me to stop everything I'm doing when I do find some. Alright, let's see here. Now what's the easiest way out? Hmm. I'm guessing just up, up, and away. Alright, there we go. Perfect. And it's so dark. Alright, there's a skeleton over there. And I have a couple of quest logs that I did not fill yet, so I'm going to head that way, I suppose, before we go back home. And I'm going to get some stone while I'm out here, too. You know what? I may as well just fight this guy. Come back here. Oh, now you want to leave just because I'm here? Pick on somebody your own size. Or, well, he was picking on me to begin with, so I don't know what I'm even saying there. Okay. Sometimes I just say stuff in commentary. The music is so grim. Ouch. Does that slime want some? No. That slime doesn't want none. Okay, it looks as though... Oh, I think I heard... Yeah, I heard a monster triggered. There is a little noise that they make when it happens. Which is kind of weird. It's like a little bling bling. Uh, it doesn't look like I can make it there. Like this, I might have to go all the way around. I don't know how long the night lasts either. I usually sleep through it. Which we don't have that luxury right now. Uh, I do want to grab the stone. And I did bring some extra mallets because I was mining so much that I was just going through them. I was breaking them. So I decided that I was just going to make a couple extra mallets, and I do have those on me too, so it's no problem. There we go. Okay, it does look like I can get down right here. And there is a fire over there. Hmm. And it's daytime. Hot dog. I need to get better at switching weapons too. Okay. Uh, let's see. Quickest way down here. Well, not necessarily. Quickest way down is straight down. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Okay. Beautiful. I could use some extra mushrooms while I'm here as well. And I would rather not use my good, my good weapon to form them. Because it does take durability, I believe. Not that a copper sword is real expensive to make, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's see where we are. There looks like there's some different kind of materials over there. What is this? Oh, defeat the mon- Holy cow! There's an iron scorpion. I broke my first barricade. I hope I have enough, uh... Of the white creams. Okay. Let me finish with these... All of the... Uh, I forgot what you call these things. Chimeras. There we go. Alright, let's refill the health. He's kind of stuck there, isn't he? Alright. We going in, y'all. Ouch. Okay, you gotta be careful. Ouch. I'm gonna do a few attacks. And then back up. Oh, man, I got more guys on my tail now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. More guys on my tail, more guys on my tail. Okay, let's let this guy cross here. If he can get over. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, I got him. Ouch. That hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Hold on. Okay. We good now. Get away from me, sucker. Okay. Scorpion's almost dead, y'all. Got him! Monsters are defeated. Woo! That was hardcore. Okay, what is this? First scorpion horn. I don't even know what that gives, but <laughs> I'm excited about it. Alright, let's break down these barricades. Because those were some that I didn't have before. And what type of materials were these? Castle wall block. Uh, I like that. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna have to get more of them. 
Let's get up there so we can actually form the top part of this. Nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm getting nailed here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, is there anything in this crate? I don't think so. Nope. Whew. Y'all. You see? This is why I don't adventure much without you guys. Okay. I broke my mallet. Equipment. Mallet number two. Good deal. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was really cool, though. A big old scorpion. And they look just like the scorpion back in the day in Dragon Warrior, too. All right. Let's finish carrying out this little uh, deconstruction task. Not that I really need to do this, but I'm going to want the materials. I have a feeling when you place uh, special materials in your town, you get more points. And as you can see, I'm already level 3 in my town. Um, so it's been going pretty good. Tell you what, let me just go up right here and get it. Nice. Alright, and I'm going to save the rest for another time because it's gonna take too long. I am gonna grab this last barricade there. I could use those. All right, we'll grab some castle walls later. Let's see. Uh, so that was one of the quests and there's still another quest to go up. Also, is this just regular stone? Yeah, it is just regular stone. They have some little boulders in it so I was just making sure it wasn't anything special about it. Uh, let's see. Easiest to climb probably gonna be to just use blocks instead of breaking stone. Alrighty. Now where? Okay. Little cubby in here. Looks like I'm gonna run into a little bit of trouble here. Nothing that I can't handle, of course. Also, if we find anything to craft, we're gonna have to use our. Um, we're gonna have to use some of those white petals to make. To make some good stuff. Ooh, this is new. This is new over here. They're trying to fireball me. Can y'all believe that? I needed a few more chimera wings too. Okay. What are those? Those are some special kind of plants, it looks like. This area is huge, man. It's really, really big. Alright. Oh, sheaf of wheat. Okay, so we can make bread. Yeah! There's probably going to be some other stuff that we can get from this, too. I don't know why I'm using my good items. I need to use, um, like, my club or my stick. In fact, let's use the cypress stick for all of this. We can get a little bit more wheat. I hope I don't run into any dangerous monsters out here. It's probably better that I just move on and try to find something, some place to stay for the night, like a temporary make sure I have some grass so that I can actually build a bed if I have to. Do I have sticks on me too? Well, I can access my inventory anywhere, so that's fine. I don't see a fire yet, but I see that huge castle. Which looks pretty incredible. And I guess that's where my quest pointer is taking me. Hmm. I hope this ain't like the Dragon Lord's castle, or whatever, and I'm just going in to die. <laughs> I really don't want that to happen. No, these were regular sticks. I was like, is that new? Okay, there is. Man, there's some creepy looking stuff over there. And it is dark like I don't know what. Okay, I really think that we could make a room. I don't exactly know how if it can be done anywhere but I'm pretty sure you have to have like some specific room you know like some specific uh, ouch they're trying to kill me uh, you have to have like some sort of existing 
stuff over there. I'm not too sure how it goes yet, but tell you what. Let's go in and see what's going on here. Oh, there's plenty of castle walls to break over here, isn't there? <laughs> okay, anything around this side that I could see? Nope. Okay, let's go in. Holy cow. This place looks rough, man. It was all in vain. Hey, there's somebody here. Well, well, well. So thou canst canst see me, hmm? Twould seem thou art no ordinary man. I am Renulf, erstwhile mayor of the city of Cantlin. But that was hundreds of years ago. Now I am a ghost. Ooh. <laughs> what? Ah, so thou art the builder of whom the Cantlin Chronicles spake. Well, builder, what business hast thou in the ruined halls? The people who once dwelt here did bring destruction upon their own heads. Thou wilt find naught here but grief and sorrow. I see. Thou comest in search of the stone stockade. Tell me, builder, why dost thou build thy city? Why dost thou build at all? Zuljin, come with me. There is something I wish to show thee. I shall await thee atop the roof of this castle. But be warned, the staircase have long fallen into ruin. Thou must need build your own way there. Okay. Can I just sit here? I can. <laughs> but guess what? I'm taking this throne. You better believe me. I'm taking the chair. Okay. Also, I want to take that. And I want to take this. Maybe I have to use... Got it. I'm trying to get all this stuff, guys. I almost got the last one. Aww. Huh? <laughs> Ha! Ha! <laughs> okay, all right. It would probably be easier just to build a way in. Let's see here. Can I do that? Oh yeah, baby. There we go. All right, I can even get around to um, grabbing this other one. This other candelabra, I guess. Oh, these pillars I can grab too. Columns. Nice. The beautiful thing about having this new storage too is it all goes in there. Alright, I'm gonna grab candles and stuff later. Let's read the book. The book is titled The Passage to Tangible, Volume 1. Would thou like to read it? No, not yet. There's a note written on an old and tattered scrap of paper. I managed to make off with the book that Explorer Grains was writing. Thou cannot read a single word that Wandering Devil wrote. I harbor no doubt that speaketh naught but treason against us. We should never have let him escape. The message ends there. It looks like it's written a long time ago. Alright, we're gonna take these back with us. There's pots and stuff here. There's actually a lot of stuff here I would like to mine out. A wooden door is very nice in comparison to what I had. Okay, so there's also some barrels here and stuff. I'm trying to get everything that I need to get. Okay, let's, um, I'll tell you what too. Let's make... I think I'm going to go ahead and do healing creams. Yes. Alright, and we can do... I do have Chimera Wings already too, so that's not going to be a big deal. Alright, it's wooden stools. I think that's all the new stuff that was here. And it's daytime again, so he's going to be at the top of the castle, right? I say we go looking for it. Uh, there's also these purple blocks, which I've been neglecting, and carpet blocks too. Carpet block, nice. Castle tile block. I think that's all the different blocks that I have. That's cool. We do want to get this as well. I like that I can mine three at a time like this. That'll give us quite a bit 
to work with. Maybe we can, maybe, <laughs> maybe later on we can decorate rooms with that stuff. Okay. So the stairway. Alright, we got a portion of the way up. Does look like I'm gonna have to pillar a little bit here, which is not a problem. Let's see here. Like so. Look at that. No problem, y'all. No problem. Um, I need to get a little bit further. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now it goes to some sort of door. Let's change the view a little bit here. Good old dirt bridging, man. <laughs> Can't beat the stuff. Alright. Oh, here we go. There's a ladder here. I'm pretty sure that this is probably the way that we need to go. You better believe I'm taking that ladder with me when we, um, when we go back, too. All right. Can't fall here. Well, I can, I just don't want to. <laughs> All right, we're here. I think we made it. Good Lord. Um, I missed it. Selection of pitch tile. Oh, this stuff is... I am going to mine the stuff out of this. Good Lord. Okay. I want the first of everything, just like for discovery purposes. Where is the guy, though? There's a chest over there. Eek! <laughs> Almost fail! That would have been bad. I wish there was a shift key. Like there was in Minecraft. Okay, he's here. Good. Talk to me, buddy. Well, once more, young builder. Now look upon the lands thou seest before thee. Look upon the sky and the black and brooding clouds that shroud this world. Once this world was blindly, blindingly beautiful, it, its people lived beautiful lives in beautiful cities that they built with their own hands. Now all has been lost. Mankind lies berfet, bereft, bereft of all hope, powerlessly awaiting their inevitable end. This dude talks like with way too many big words. Zuljan, if thou art truly the builder, thou must needs <laughs> drive the darkness from the sky and bring back beauty to this land. Well, mightst thou quail at having such a weighty responsibility thrust upon thee unbidden. But know this, thy companions are in dire need and the power to save them is thine and thine alone. Dwell not on thy duty to rebuild this ruined world, think only of aiding those around thee. By each small act of kindness thou shalt draw ever closer to thine eventual aim, thus as block by block thy built thy city. Hmm, twould seem my prolonged repose has not been dulled my, has not <laughs> dulled my oratorial skills. You're killing me, dude. Come, Zuljan, opens thou chest, within thou shalt find what thou seekest. Fare thee well, young builder. I look forward to seeing the brave new world thou wilt usher forth. Wow. Okay, it's open now. And we get his first defensive designs. So we got the um, we got the deal, y'all. We 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 got the the what was it? The castle, the castle something. Okay, we got some ladder bits too. Man, I tell you what, you guys, I was gonna show y'all the build, but I really just want to form some materials here for a little while. And I think when we come back next episode, we'll use some of these materials to build some of that cool stuff that I've been telling y'all about. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lil Jin signing off. 
and we'll see you next time.